Hey there friends and enemies, Jopu here again and today I want to rank all the stratagems currently in Helldivers 2 with a couple important things to keep in mind. First off, this list is subject to change based on nerfs, buffs, as well as new stratagems we see in the game. I'm also going to be ranking these based on a couple different factors. First and foremost for me personally is fun. Secondly, as how useful they are across multiple difficulty levels. And then finally, how strong they are at the highest level. I'm not really going to focus on the meta because I think that concept is overrated in Helldivers 2. And a lot of things are useful if you are running in a certain team, if you're running with everyone kind of adjusting their stratagems to perform best as a group. So I don't want to go pure meta just because I feel like that is overrated for sure even though I know people will disagree with me, and if you do, let me know in the comments down below. But let's jump into it. I'm gonna go pretty quick on these. First off, we got Auto Cannon. This is C tier. Reason being, I feel like this one is pretty solid overall, but there's just better options for the most part, and I just feel like it only has limited uses depending on what you're doing, plus you can kill your teammates quite a bit with it. Then we have the Tesla Tower. Now, this is going to be controversial. I, I rank it at the D tier. One, it's very expensive. It's the last in the bridge list, and lastly, I just feel like you're going to kill your teammates more than you're going to kill some enemies at times. Plus, you're going to struggle with its location at first. It takes a lot of time to get used to using because unless you have enemies funneling you from one single direction, it's just not all that good and it could absolutely be better in my personal opinion. Next up, we're going to have the HMG placement. This one, I personally am going to rank probably lower than most people will. I'm going to put this one also in D tier. Mostly because I don't like having to get into it. You have other turrets that you can get into when you're in automaton missions. And so this one feels like almost a waste of a stratagem slot at times. I know it's not terrible. I know it, some people really, really enjoy it. But for me, I just don't care for it. Now we have the Gatling Gun. This is going to be B tier for me. Reason being, this is excellent early game for a lot of people if you unlock this fairly early on as you're leveling up this can be extremely useful yes it's less useful as you get to higher difficulty yes teammates will use it incorrectly and kill all of you pretty frequently when you're using it but i don't think that matters as much as how useful it is when it is pretty solid so that's why i'm going to rank it there now we have one of my first f tiers uh that i will actually consider in this game just because I just don't like the shield generator re uh, shield generator relay. I thought this was going to be much better. I tried using it against the automatons a couple times, and it just felt very underwhelming. And just they just smoked my shield. Plus, when you have the personal backpack, yes, the sh backpack shield got nerfed, but I still think you're better off running that than having this single big shield that doesn't move and just isn't all that great. Now we have the incendiary mines. I think this is C with the regular anti-personnel minefield being D tier, mostly because you're gonna kill your teammates once again more than you're gonna kill the enemies with these. I just think that they are frustrating to use at times. They're okay at lower levels, but as you go higher, they just lose functionality and there's just better options. Even early on, there's just better options to unlock and that's why it's gonna drop down a little bit. Personal preference there, but machine gun, this is just worse overall than the Gatling Sentry, so that's why it's going to drop down. But then we get into one that I think is highly underrated, the EMS Mortar, and this one I think is actually an A tier. If you're in certain automaton missions, it can be extremely valuable, even though I think not everyone uses it like they should. I do think it can be very, very good, and I actually really enjoy it. Now we have the Mortar Sentry. This one is actually going to be s tier yes it's not always going to be the best option but it's got so many functional usages that i think especially when you're doing an eradicate mission it can be extremely good finally we have the rocket century and i think this one is solid there in the b tier it is a good option but not going to be for everyone so that's one of the better I, options you can have as a sentry if you are looking to take down ships and things like that over the auto cannon sentry in my personal opinion now we're going to move into some of the airstrikes and yeah some of these are great and some of them are absolutely terrible so let's jump into it first off we have the eagle 
110 mm rocket pods. I have not really used that the, these all that often. I think they're D tier just because every time I have used them, I don't enjoy it whatsoever. And so if you have used them, if they're very good, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I just, I can't get with them. They're just not for me personally. Then we're going to have the 380 mm he barrage for the orbital this is one again i just haven't used it that often i think it's better than the the last one that i ranked but i just don't think it's all that good same thing with the walking brush some of these i have tried and i just feel like there's just way better options and that's one of the things i find very difficult in this game if i use something and it's very effective then it's really difficult for me to change back to something that's less effective this is again the ems strike i think is b tier i think it's better than again people give it credit for especially when you get to higher difficulties and you want to stay alive as much as you want to kill things that's why the orbital smoke is also pretty solid i don't think it's great i think there's better smoke options but it can be pretty decent overall and i do think it's one that a lot more people should be running especially if you're looking to rotate a lot around the map and finish off some of the the objectives then we're going to move on towards the airburst strike again this is one that i think is fine but that's it i don't think it's all that great personally the gatling barrage is worse and for me another f tier is the gas strike i think this one is just completely underwhelming i have not used it one time and been like wow this is very very effective this is one that i absolutely love now we're going to move on to the Orbital Laser, which is one of my favorites in the game. I'm going to put this S tier. Some people will disagree, but for me, you can nuke an automaton base with this. It destroys their manufacturing centers. You can absolutely wreck enemies. Sure, it doesn't one-shot like a Bile Titan or something like that, but it can wreck a bunch of ads. Yes, it will damage you and teammates, but as long as you throw it in a good spot, you can nuke a entire area of the map and then move in afterwards and just go to town it's not going to be the best option at the highest level but depending on what you're doing it can be very good everywhere else and i really really enjoy this one it's one that i would highly recommend using if you have not tried it out and then the rail cannon strike i think this is a tier this is the better option for nuking individual single targets and it's phenomenal in my opinion i think it's very very good and another one that because everyone uses the laser which again looks sick and i understand why i think the rail cannon strike is a bit underrated and i think it's very very good now we're gonna have the 500 kg bomb uh s tier for me this one is just so much fun you can use it unlimited amount of times you can keep calling it in to destroy um bugs their their little holes and all that kind of stuff you can destroy a bunch of ads you can destroy enemy base it's just so good it just destroys plus th that one that bomb drops in it is fantastic and one of my favorite things in the entire game but not one of my favorite things is the cluster bomb i feel like i've been killed by this thing as many times as anything else in the game it's crazy every time somebody uses it i think i get killed by it which is kind of wild to think about now we're gonna have the eagle airstrike again not that great for me personally i think there are some useful options with it but not the best smoke again the smokes are solid once you get to higher levels but they're very situational so that's why i don't know if a lot of people are big fans of it and i understand why the napalm strike i think is good early on but really loses value when you get to higher difficulties just because it doesn't hit the bigger chunkier enemies as hard as you might want it to and then finally we have the strafing run this is just an early game option that's fine but not really all that great i think other better options overall and uh yeah i don't know if anybody would really argue with me now this one i'm gonna put this one right here the 120 barrage it's the <laughs> probably like my least favorite stratagem in the entire game i used it for some minor orders and it took me forever it was absolutely insane how long it took to clear enemies with it and get the amount of kills that i needed so yeah for me that's just not it personally and then the precision strike i think this is d tier it's fine you know what i'm saying it is what it is it's another early option but i would not recommend getting it personally it's just everyone has their own preferences so moving on we are going to get into some of the the weapons that you can use the anti-material rifle i think if you're playing a recon type character can be fun 
but the laser cannon is a better option right now so that's why i'm putting it at c tier the jump pack is again fine c tier i wish it was better i just have a hard time controlling it maybe that's a personal problem but for me i just really wish it was a little bit better you had a little bit more juice to it so you could get up on high ground and really play that recon character that you want to flamethrower this one again people are going to disagree with me i know it's not the strongest thing but after the buff it is so much fun and i will use this as many times as i possibly can i love it it is hilarious and yeah it's not always the best option yes it's not all that great against automatons but i think it's it's pretty solid overall the grenade launcher has been one of the most useful stratagems that i've used in the entire game clearing out the terminated uh hives and heists like their holes absolutely clutch for doing that i think the grenade launcher is fantastic it is underrated yes it doesn't really have a lot of effect against like chargers and stuff but if you pair it with something like the rail cannon strike that can take down the bigger enemies and then you have this to clear ads to also take care of objectives it can be just very very good in my opinion and it's just very useful overall i like it much better personally than the auto cannon which is one i know a lot of people use instead but for me i'm not a big fan of the auto cannon just because you have to carry the backpack and it's more powerful but just less effective so that's why for me the auto cannon is c tier and again people are going to disagree now we're going to get to the railgun. Now, I'm going to put this right in S tier. Yes, it got nerfed. Yes, it's not as good. But you can still one-shot a lot of enemies, especially if you really lean into the unsafe mode, which I feel like people are coming around to. So as long as you understand how to use it, I think it's still very effective, even though it did get the nerf. It's not the dominant force it once was. And there's another option that I would use instead of the rail cannon, the railgun currently, but that's just a personal opinion. Then we're going to have the spear. This, again, the two-man ones feel like they're not as great right now because of the limitations when you have two people not shooting their weapons because they're using these kind of options. I think that's what's going to knock it down just a little bit. Then we're going to get towards the spears. Again, it's fine. If you disagree, if you use it and it's very effective, that's fine. But machine gun, fine early game really limited late game i think we're going to get a heavier machine gun eventually and it's going to be much much better i'm actually going to put this in c tier because i feel like the stalwart is worse for me personally i dislike this weapon so much i know a lot of other people disagree but for me it's just not all that useful and i will probably not run it all that often so yeah just not a fan overall even though again some people absolutely love it supply pack this one is A tier. I think this one is excellent. It's one that a lot of people will run at the highest levels, and I think it is very, very good. It is extremely useful, especially as a teammate has one of those on your back, and you're using weapons that use a lot of ammo. Now we're going to get to the laser, laser cannon. This one I think is A tier as well. This is controversial as well, but against the automatons, if you're hitting their weak points, it has near infinite range and you can obliterate their bases their weak points and everything and i think people are absolutely sleeping on the laser cannon it is not one that i see used a lot but it can be very very good and i think a lot of people don't fully understand how to use it properly it is a better sniper in my opinion than the actual sniper rifle so which sounds crazy but it's it's actually true now we're going to get to the recoilless rifle i think this one again c tier I'm just not a fan of uh, having to reload with your teammates, especially when you have the expendable anti-tank, which right now is phenomenal. This thing is S tier. You can one shot chargers if you hit them in the face. You can call this down, you get two shots, and then you can call it down every like 70 seconds or less, and you can just pretty much spam them. It's insane how often you do get it, and I think it's very, very good, and one of those that a lot of more people are gonna be running this after the nerf to the railgun. So that's just a personal, preference of mine i really enjoy this uh now we're gonna get to one of my i don't know if i've ever really ran this and i think it's absolutely terrible the ballistic shield backpack it is just not good it's just there's no reason to run this in my opinion even after the changes the nerf to the shield generator pack it's just not 
going to eat. The shield generator pack at the highest level is not as good as it once was. I still think it's going to be a solid B tier. If you are playing and you're struggling to stay alive, it is essentially a get out of jail free card, especially if you have teammates who are killing you with their strikes all the time. So that's why that one I, can, I think can be pretty useful. Now the guard dog rover, which catches a lot of flack from people because honestly, it is not meant i think for the highest level when you have all those major enemies but i think your mid-tier levels it's actually very good it's useful for clearing out enemies you really if you're not able to lock in on everything all around you it's great for ad clear and i think it's a lot better than some of those uh meta sweats will lead you to think so i, I think it's actually pretty solid overall now we're gonna have the regular guard dog which I don't think it's very good. I'm going to put this one in D tier. I think the the rover is just so much better. And that might be a personal thing. But I just I just don't like it personally. So now we have the arc thrower. This one can be very good. I'm going to put it in B tier. It is one that I think when you master it. When you really get it down. It can be very very good. It's just uh, there are better options in my opinion. To run. And that's why I don't care for it as much as I might otherwise. I would prefer on the lower ranks to run a flamethrower for ad clear and at the higher ranks i'll run the railgun or the anti-tank or something of that nature finally we have the patriot exosuit this is the new mech that's in the game yeah i know it's got its flaws yeah i know it can get blown up pretty easily at times s tier for me it is pure mech fantasy it is one of my favorite things to use in the game i will use it as often as possible without throwing at the highest levels but it is just a blast to use a lot of rockets a lot of machine gun it is hilarious and i love it anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you disagree agree all that kind of good stuff if you have any questions about specific ones that i didn't go over enough let me know in the comments down below my name is jopa if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel helps me out tremendously shows you want to see more health diversity content have a good one and i'll catch you all later